Hi, this is David Vallade with AltaVista Technology, and today I'm going to be talking about dynamic allocations within Sage Intact. So I did another video about just the basic standard allocation functionality that's been around forever, and it's not to be overlooked. It's still very valuable, and it's a great feature that you can use today to make Sage Intact work for you and to speed you up throughout your day, to pick up those nice little wins to make you more effective within the system. But I wanted to show a newer piece of functionality here that is uh, called dynamic allocations for a different kind of scenario. So in this example, let's suppose I am getting a bill for my fringe benefits, let's say. I'm getting fringe benefits for my workforce and I'm getting all of these um, bills and I want to take the costs that I'm getting and I wanna allocate them to all my departments. Okay, that's great. And if I was using the standard functionality within Sage Intact, I could make, use an allocation entry and I could have it split up evenly. But let's say I want to do something a little more ambitious. So let's, let's take a look. So I'm going to come into Accounts Payable. I'm going to enter a bill. And let's say my vendor here is, uh, we'll pick Blue Cross Blue Shield. So I'm going to come in, as you see here, and I put in my account number. Let's see, I want to pick my benefits. There we go, 6,000, there we go, health insurance benefits. That sounds great to me. Let's say that the dollar amount here was, oh, let's say $5,000. In an earlier video, I showed that I could use this allocation uh, dropdown and I can do some nice, easy, basic allocations based on different criteria that I set up. For example, you can see here, I can evenly allocate by location. Well, even allocation doesn't work for me in this example. I have all these health insurance benefits and I actually want to allocate them by department. Okay, well, I could set up a, a simple allocation that does that, but in my example, I actually want to break it down by department based on the amount of wages that were already booked to those departments. Okay, that's complicated, right? That would involve a little bit more math. If I were doing this without the dynamic allocation feature inside of Sage Intact, I'd have to go back, look at all the costs I had for my salaries for a given month, then make sure they're all booked. And now that that's all settled, I would come in here into uh, make a journal entry and I could split that all up based on whatever numbers happened. There's a lot of room for error there. If I have a lot of calculations, that could be hard. So let's do it a different way. Here I'm putting in my full health insurance benefits. I'll pick my location. We'll say this is for Texas. And I set up a department here that I'm going to use. I'll explain this more as I go. Remember, I want to allocate to all these different departments here, but I made a shared department, and you'll see why in just a moment. So let's recap here. I'm actually gonna pick a different date here too, like so. Let's look at this. So here I am, I'm putting in a $5,000 accounts payable bill. I'm gonna pay my vendor, my vendor's gonna be happy, and it's all going to this one department I'm calling shared. And remember, that's not where I want it to live forever, but that's my first step. I'll hit post and all is well. So now let's fast forward. Let's say I have recorded all of my payroll for the month. And I have all my salaries booked. That's all happened throughout the month. I have commissions, I have whatever, all the different types of events that can happen in a normal business. So now I want to do an allocation. So I want to come into my general ledger. I remember this is a dynamic allocation. So let's let's build a dynamic allocation definition, which is fun. So we're going to set the rules of the game. Remember my example, I, I'm going to give this a name, but in my example, I want to take all of my benefits and allocate them based on the wages. So let's call that benefit allocation, something like that. And my methodology, this is just for me. So I understand this. Um, we'll say uh, allocate benefits based on salary. Sounds great. And maybe I'll copy that and I'll paste that up here in the description as well. You can see that's required. Now this looks intimidating, but we're gonna break it down piece by piece. So the first thing is dimensions. How are we gonna handle our dimensions if we make this little bit of magic happen here? I can say what I want to do with these dimensions. Remember dimensions are just the, a cornerstone feature of Sage Intact. We really love them. I made that bill earlier and I booked it all to Texas. So let's say that I just want to use whatever I used before, preserve the values. So I know there's a bill that needs to get split up. Whatever I use for location, just go ahead and keep using it. I don't want to change that. That's great. Uh, the vendor dimension got populated. Well, let's keep that too. Whatever that was, carry that forward when we're all done. I want to use that again. Great. That sounds good. Uh, project. Well, 
Uh, I could have projects in that example. I didn't. So I'm just going to ignore that. And I'm going to ignore most of these dimensions. But the one that did matter to me was department. So that was actually the focus. I put everything into my 999 uh, dimension or department, I should say. And I want to break that all up using real departments. So that's the focus. That's what we're going to be caring about. Now I move down here and now it's going to ask me the source. So what, so, okay, makes sense. So we're going to say, what's the source of the information that I'm going to be split, splitting up here? Well, I have a account group here and remember that was my health insurance account. So if I were to type H for health insurance, I have a group all set up for that. What percentage am I going to allocate? Oh, all of it. I want all of it to be allocated. Not much more here. Uh, the current month is good. I'm going to go month at a time. There's other options here, of course, that could go for quarters or current month or prior month. I'm going to leave it alone at current month because that works great for my example. If I come down here, I want to say, what department do I want to use? Remember, this is coming from the source. So I'm using my source. I'm going to look at all the health insurance that I booked, all of it, 100%, but just look at everything that's in my 999 shared department. And that's it for the source. That's great. I have a couple more steps, but we're moving along. Okay, now what's the basis here? Remember in my example, I said, I want to look at the wages that hit for that month. Dynamic, relative, account, financial. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Let's do that. And then uh, what account group am I using? Remember, it was my salaries and wages. I'll hit the letter S and there's my salary and wages. Okay, I'm taking it. And there's a few more options here, but this we're keeping it basic for our example here. So we'll leave it on salaries and wages. And we'll come down here. What kind of filters do I want to keep? Or we're only worried about our um, Texas location. So I'm just going to look at that. that. That's good enough. So I'm going to say whatever I booked my Texas location for my salary and wages, that's the basis. That's what I'm using for my percentages. All right. And one more big step here. So stick with me here. We got the target entry. We're going to make an entry. I already had this set up to have an allocation book. It's a, maybe a topic for another day, but Intact is really sophisticated as far as having different books, different journals, different dimensions, lots of ways to slice and dice our information. I love this. This means that when this makes an entry, it makes its target entry, I have my own book called Allocation where I can go back and find all those allocations quick and easy. And I have my own journal. I have a journal assigned to that one. It's called my General Ledger Allocation Journal. I set these up just before I came in here for this uh, demo. Didn't take very long at all, and I'm just going to use these going forward. So I like that the way Sage Intech does this is it's putting everything in these books and journals so that I have a nice, easy way to go back and review what the system does for me to make sure I'm doing everything correctly. So now it's going to book an entry for me, and what account do I want to use for that? I want to use the same account that that hit. So remember, I when I made my bill, I put it all to health insurance. I'm okay keeping that. You might decide to take it out of that account and move it elsewhere. But not for me. I, I'm fine doing that. Then there's some overrides. Uh, again, I'm not going to get too cute with that. Uh, if I wanted to have it reverse, I want to reverse it right out of the same account that it was in. If you know what a contra account is, you could do something different there, there if you'd like. But again, this works for me. And that's the end of the screen. So let's take one more lap here and just take a look. So if I go back to the top, I named it. Easy. The dimensions here, I got to say which dimensions I wanted to keep which ones I wanted to not care about, and which ones I wanted to focus on for making this allocation. I picked my source, which is where the, the entries are that I want to uh, allocate or split up. And remember I said my health insurance accounts, my department, and then I said what the basis are, and I said wages. And then back on the target, I said what entry to put it into. So I'm taking it out of health insurance, putting it back into health insurance, but I'm taking it out of that shared department and splitting it up using all the departments based on the ratios for however the wages hit in that same month. If I got all of my required fields in and I didn't make any mistakes, I should be able to save this. And we're done, sort of. I just made the def definition, now let's go run it. So if I come in here under general ledger, I can generate an allocation. So let's do that. I'll pick a date. Remember I posted that other entry back in 12, 31, 2018. So I'll pick that. Now I'm going to put in an email address here. I will pick um, info at altavistatech.com. Why do I put an email address? Isn't that interesting? Well, this is a process that could take a considerable amount of time depending on how complicated my calculations were. So Intact is kind of smart about this. They say this is going to be an offline process. When I do go click generate eventually, the system will go to work 
figure out my entry, book the entry, and then email me to tell me it's done. So I don't have to click and wait if it's really long. The one I put in here wasn't especially hard, I don't think. All the same, it's an offline process. So I put in my email address and it should email me when we're done. I would do this after the month was over, so I get to pick the date that I want to put it in. And I got to pick my allocation. Remember, I called that a benefit allocation. And let's look at what it says. It's saying, just a reminder, uh, that this is a benefit allocation. It's going to look at the current month, and it's going to post it to that journal. It also has this last posted date here. In this case, you can see I haven't posted this because we just made this allocation ID uh, just a moment ago. I like this little field though, because this tells me that I haven't run it, or if I have, maybe another person in my office already ran it for that month and I can tell that it's been run, so I don't have to worry about it. I'm going to click generate. And there we go. I'm in the queue, so I'll click refresh. And there it is, it says pass. It means just that. It means that the allocation ran successfully. It made the entry for me. It made an entry and I can view that. So why don't we take a look? Okay. And this takes me over to my journal entries area. And if I scroll down here, I can see that it takes the $5,000 that I booked to my shared department and it's broken it down using all the math here to break everything down by the different uh, departments that were used for wages for that month. Now that I have that set up, this is all ready to go. So I can use this every month. So at the end of every month, I can just come in here. I'm closing out my month. I just have to make sure I have all my payroll in for the prior period. I go into my allocation. I click go. It will email me when it's done. And that's that. Super easy. I didn't have to do any kind of spreadsheets. I didn't have to do any kind of math on this, pulling all the individual numbers for all my individual departments and spreading that all out. Intech did it for me. So that's great. That's the dynamic allocations built into Sage Intac. And it's an exciting new feature. I'm really looking forward to using this with all my customers so that we can make their days a little better, a little more accurate financials, a little faster closeouts for their months. Really leverage the great functionality inside of Sage Intact. Thanks for watching.